today's video, we're gonna do a taste test on the new Brazil. It's not new, I think it comes out every year, but I just haven't tried it. So I wanna try it in front of the camera, let you guys know what I think about it. I'm not that excited because it's quite strong. At least they make it seem like it is. I don't know, maybe I'm just overthinking it, but it's a level intensity nine, which I typically like and prefer to stay between like four and seven. Eight sometimes is good, but it, it's definitely pushing it. Although I had an Vivo Longo this morning and it was a le level intensity 10 and it wasn't that bad. So maybe I'll like this one. I don't know. But this is called Cafecino do Brasil. I don't know how they say it. Brazil. Cafecino do Brasil. Maybe that's how they say it. Sorry. I just like Portuguese and I feel like it's like a mix between French and Spanish. And since I understand Spanish completely, I feel like sometimes I can I can handle a Portuguese conversation. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. Anyways, Nespresso Cafecino do Brasil, limited edition. This is only made for the original line. They don't make it for the tool line. I don't know why, but this is exactly why I like having both machines. I know I've gotten a lot of questions as far as like having both machines. Why do you like it? This is this is why, because sometimes Nespresso likes to pull these little tricks where they only release a capsule for one line and not the other. Or they'll release a capsule for one line, for example, this one for um, original line. And then sometimes they'll have one for the virtual line, but it's only like a coffee sized capsule. It's not quite an espresso. So I don't know what they're, <laughs> I think it's just their gimmick so that you eventually get both machines. That's just my thoughts. Before we open this box up, because I actually haven't opened it up, I'm going to go ahead and just read to you guys what the, um, what the website says. Intensive level nine, they only recommend to brew it as an espresso. The aromatic profile is intense and spicy. I like spicy. I don't mind that spiciness, so I'm actually very intrigued. The intense is what kind of like, ugh. Aromatic notes, woody and herbal. So it's gonna be like a spicy, herbal, woody kind of coffee. The sleeve is gonna cost you $9, and then obviously you get 10 capsules in the sleeve. Wait, let me see if they have. So usually, Usually they'll have like the acidity, roastiness, all that stuff there. Um, roastiness out of five, it's a four. Acidity, it's very low, which is nice. It's a level one acidity out of five. Bitterness is a four out of five. So it's probably gonna be very bitter. And then the body is four out of five. Velvety textured cup with an unexpected upfront walnut and sandalwood fragrance. This coffee displays unusual herbal notes reminiscent of thyme and rosemary. That is very interesting. It says it's enhanced by Dulcet Pult, natural bur bourbon from Carmo de Minas and Pocos Pozos de Caldas. I don't know what I'm reading. Um, so here's the box. I don't know if I showed you guys up close. It's a very cute box, yellow, green, just like their flag. And this one opens from the end. Super cute capsule to match the flag once again with a nice coffee bean, green, yellow, nice. I'm gonna brew this so we can try it hot. And then, you know, you guys know, if you guys are new here, I usually try it hot, black, without milk, without sugar, and then eventually we'll add the milk. And then we'll, lastly, we'll add some sort of syrup to see if it um, does anything or brings any more of the flavor. And usually, you know, syrups, depending on what the base notes are sometimes syrup will kill the flavor or not but we'll see i usually typically like doing like french vanilla or caramel just because those are very not too busy syrups you know like if you were to put raspberry or something like that it has to be a specific pot for that but we'll probably do either vanilla or uh, caramel just to be safe and then try it so let's get started I could definitely smell the nuttiness. This doesn't smell that bad. That 
smells really good. Doesn't smell bitter. I could definitely smell the walnut. I don't know what sandalwood is supposed to smell like. It does smell woody, like a base note of woodiness. But it's definitely nutty. I kind of want to try this with peanut butter syrup eventually, but not maybe not today. Maybe hazelnut. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> wow, this one didn't punch me in the face. This is nice. Obviously, I'm not going to drink it black. Mm -mm. But this, when, when the coffee is good in like just black without milk, I am very hopeful that it's going to be delicious with milk. And you know what? Surprisingly, the, the website didn't really explain, or sometimes they'll recommend like pair with milk or a latte, cappuccino to experience, blah, blah, blah. But this one didn't really say anything. It's woody, it's nutty. I feel like the milk will just enhance those flavors. I don't think it'll mellow any of that out. So it's pretty good without it though. Yeah, it's not bitter. You guys see me taste other pods, capsules. This one is not bitter at all. There is a strength to it. But I wouldn't say it's bitter. You could definitely taste that woodiness, nuttiness. Again, I don't know what sandalwood smells like, um, but it's good. It's good like this. Let me go get my milk, and then we're going to try it with milk and see what it tastes like. Okay, so we're going to do this one. This is the Silk Oat Milk Original. All around good milk, so we're going to try this one. I'm going to froth it in my Arashino. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I spray painted my Arashino. It used to be black, not anymore. Now it matches perfectly with all my other machines. I kind of sprayed me into the bottom by mistake, but I'm going to do about a half a cup of milk and then try it. Actually, you know what? That was a lot of milk because usually I do that for two shots and I'm only doing one shot. So I'll, I won't use all of it. And yeah, definitely not that much milk because I even drink from it. So I'm just going to combine a little bit of milk. I know a few of you guys will ask me like, you know, how much milk do you put? Usually when it's two shots, for sure two shots long goals even my big like coffee mug sizes those are always half a cup of milk if it's one shot of espresso i do maybe you know i have never i've never measured the the milk for one shot but i almost feel like it's just under a half a cup so or a quarter cup no i think it's more than a quarter cup for some reason this milk just the original one because the zero one that's good in the original, but the original one doesn't, so it's kind of watery. That's good. Let's mix it in. Yeah, it didn't lose its nuttiness just by the spoon lick. This is good. It almost reminds me of like the double espresso Chiaro, but just a little more spicy. But with the milk, it's like really nice and smooth. There's no bitterness. It's funny that they say it's like a level four out of five out of bitter for bitterness, but to me, it doesn't taste bitter. This is good, guys. I like it. Oat milk, I think, is really nice with this one. So good. You could still taste that nut. You know what? I think my husband would probably like this. If I tell him it has walnut fragrance, profile he would probably enjoy this one because he loves walnuts and you can definitely taste the nuttiness the nuttiness they did say herbal and i don't really like herbal i don't know to me it's mainly nuttiness even more so with the with the milk because of all that nuttiness woodiness all that stuff i'm gonna use hazelnut from pink house alchemy put a little bit of that and then see how it tastes the syrup right here it's just hazelnut there are syrups are super good they don't use natural flavors so if you guys are more, more into like not using natural flavors pink house alchemy is where it's at i'm gonna use just a tiny little bit because i mean it's just a tiny bit of coffee let's taste it it 
This is so good. I absolutely love this. This is, guys, this is really good. If you guys have the original line and want to try Brazil, but are kind of shying away because of the level intensity, I feel like you guys would like it. It tastes to me more of like a medium roast, full body, smooth, all around good capsule. It's really, really good. Nutty. So if you guys are into like nutty flavors, I think you guys would definitely like this. I don't quite taste herbal. And again, I don't know what sandalwood tastes like. But you know what? Which one was the one that tasted like olives to me? I can't forget. It was, I can't remember. It was one of the reviving origins. That one, I can't remember the name. But that one was also um, sandalwood. And to me, it tasted like olives. This one doesn't. This one is so good. I can't wait to try this one iced because it's gonna be really good. And I think this one will really mesh well with the peanut butter syrup that I tried on my Instagram. Didn't quite like, but maybe it was just the pot that I used. I think it'll pair well with this one. So yeah, all around good, good capsule. I think it's definitely worth the try. I think I might even repurchase it. It's one of those that is just really nice. If it was available all year round, it would definitely be a capsule that I would always just come back to. It literally reminds me of like a double espresso Chiaro, but with more nuttiness and like body. But yeah, super good. I'm almost done with the shots and it wasn't even iced coffee time. So I don't know if I'm gonna have iced coffee today. But yeah, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this taste test and let me know in the comments if you guys are gonna order Brazil based on my review. I always like knowing. And then if you get it, and once you get it, let me know if you liked it and if you agree with everything that I said. Because to me, it tastes nutty, woody, roasty, all of that stuff. But I don't taste the sandalwood or, or uh, herbaliness. Good, and it's, it's spicy, but it's not like, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Definitely nutty. Nutty is like the main word that I'm going to use here, okay? All right, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!